it's my turn. Okay, fine. We'll knock together. Three, two, one. Trick or treat! Happy Halloween! <laughs> oh, what wonderful costumes! Now let's see, blue shirt, golden badge, let me guess. Hold on, guess who I am first. Howdy, partner. Bet you'll never guess who's under this costume. Hit me with your best shot of Rooney. Well, that is obviously Jimmy. <laughs> you wear the same costume every year. You even wear that same smelly hat. Oh, I knew the smell would give me away. Oh, oh, do me now. Who am I, Coach Rocco? Hmm. Well, if that's Cowboy Jimmy, then you must be Officer Ellie Sparkle. Ah, oh, you got me. Jimmy, I knew you should have worn a different costume. He always gets us. Well, I should warn you, I'm good at three things. Teaching gym class, teaching lunch, and guessing Halloween costumes. I'm sort of a Halloween expert. Nobody's tricked me yet. Huh, well, okay, Mr. Halloween expert, but how about we get on to the treat portion of Trick or Treat? <laughs> Oh, oh yes, the tricks. I mean the treats. <laughs> yeah. One for you and one for you. Oh, uh, Coach Rocco, I think that must be some kind of mistake. You see, I thought that we were going to get the Halloween cupcakes over there. Yeah, let me just grab those for you. <laughs> no can do, Jimmy. These cupcakes are only for trick-or-treaters who trick me with their costumes. And in all my years of trick-or-treating, nobody's tricked me yet. <laughs> huh? I've never heard of that rule before. <laughs> Is this allowed? Ellie, is that allowed? Tell him he can't do this. Wait, you're a police officer. I demand you place him under arrest immediately. Hold on, Jimmy. I have a great idea. We're just going to have to trick Coach Rocco once and for all. Boys and girls, if you want us to get those Halloween cupcakes, give me a big thumbs up. All right, Coach Rocco. Thank you for the candy. Happy Halloween. I hope you don't get tricked. <laughs> That'll never happen, Ellie Sparkles. Nobody's tricked me yet. Don't worry, my sweet little cupcakes. Nobody's gonna get their hands on you. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, are you ready? I've never been more ready for anything in my whole life. Coach Rocco will never recognize me in this Minecraft costume. It's perfect, especially since it covers all my big Jimmy muscles, so there's no way he'll know it's me. All right, yeah, your big Jimmy muscles. Well, I'm gonna hang out over there, you need me, but good luck. Luck? Who needs luck when you're the smartest kid in school? Trick or treat! Ah, happy Halloween! Now this is a new costume. Let me guess. Hmm, you're one of those robots from those computer video games from the uh, Roblox, is that it? Roblox? No, it's Minecraft. I mean, uh... Roblox? No, actually, it's Minecraft. Oh, no, no, no. It's the one Jimmy's always talking about. He says he's, I have the best avatar, and I have the best Roblox house, and the fastest Roblox cars. But I've seen Ellie's Roblox stuff, and she's got faster cars, and a bigger kitchen, and a Roblox house. <laughs> to tell you the truth, she's the better player between the two, but don't tell Jimmy. <laughs> what? You're crazy. Ellie, a better player than me? Have you even seen my upgraded avatar? Ellie doesn't have anything like that. She's basically a new what? Hey! Who are you calling a noob? If I remember correctly, I'm the one who introduced you to Roblox. You didn't even know what it was. I was all like, hey, play Roblox. And you were like, I don't want to play Roblox. I just want to do my Spinaroonie. <gasps> you did not just say that. Ellie insulting the Spinaroonie goes way too far. <laughs> nice try, you two, but you didn't win this time. <laughs> no cupcakes for you. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> Ellie, are you almost ready? Halloween's almost over. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Just putting the last finishing touches on my costume. What do you think? Who are you supposed to be? Uh, well, I may not know who you're supposed to be, but I gotta say, your sense of style is pretty cool. In fact, I dare say your costume is totally awesome. All right, all right, Jimmy. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the door now. Why don't you go hide? Hmm, good idea. I'll hide behind that tree. But just remember, if you need my help at any point, just yell out the secret code word, macaroni. Macaroni? 
I don't think we'll need a cold war, Jimmy. I got this. Okay, see you soon. Oh, uh, Jimmy, <laughs> you again. Happy Halloween, Coach Rooney, trick or treat. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're hiding in plain sight. I respect your strategy. You're always acting silly in class, but I, I knew you had a big brain under that cap of yours. Oh, wow, Coach, that means a lot. Especially, you know, since I can do so many more awesome things than just the Jimmy Spinner Rooney. Yeah, I see that. Hey, if you could do one more thing that impresses me, I'll let you have one of my Halloween cupcakes. Uh, uh okay. The, uh, Jimmy trick a -rooney. <laughs> Macaroni? The Jimmy trick a -rooney. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. Mm -hmm. Ellie, you said the secret code word. Macaroni, here I am. No, 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 Jimmy. I said trick a -rooney, not macaroni. <laughs> Pulling out all the stops, you two. <laughs> but you're not going to get my cupcakes. And now you're on my list. My no cupcake list. <laughs> oh, no, I blew it. But in my defense, trick a -rooney does sound an awful lot like macaroni. You really should have picked a better secret yeah. code word. I should have... Okay, so we've tried to trick Coach Rocco separately, but that didn't work. So now we gotta try it out as a team. I sure hope these peanut butter and jelly costumes work. Every time I look at them, I just get hungrier and hungrier. Oh, what if it doesn't work? We just got this one last try, Jimmy, okay? And think of all the Halloween cupcakes we'll get to eat when this works. Oh, I guess you're right. I'll do it for you, sweet, cakey, glorious cupcakes. Trick or treat! Oh, oh, happy Halloween! Sorry, I can't get my mask on straight. I can barely see you. Uh, looks like you're dressed as my favorite sandwich, squished anchovies and ketchup. Yep, that's it. Looks like the Halloween expert wins again. Um, yeah, that's right, Coach. We're squished anchovies and ketchup. Good job. Hold on, I thought we were peanut butter and jelly. And since you're the last trick-or-treaters of the night, that means all these cupcakes are mine! Wait, wait, Coach. First, you have to guess who's under these costumes. Uh, let me see. Um, is that Ellie or Jimmy? I can't get this mask on right. Well, which is it, Coach? Uh, uh you're Jimmy and you're Ellie. Wrong! We tricked you! And now it's finally time to taste those Halloween cupcakes. <laughs> Wait, no, I can explain. Nobody's supposed to eat those but me. <laughs> Save me some frosting. Okay, kids, we're here. Everybody off the bus. Perfect. I just got done my book for English. Wait, what? We just got assigned that book today. You're already done? What? It was a really good book. And speak for yourself, Casey. I see that you're working on our science project already. Yeah, but that's only because I have the greatest idea ever for a science project. Ready, ready, ready. Slime, cake, glitter volcano. Slime, cake, glitter volcano. Those are like four of my favorite things. Exactly. We are bound to get an A plus on this. Oh, and Jimmy already has all the supplies in his backpack. Oh, isn't that right, Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy. Earth to Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy, wake up! Coach Rocco, I think we're gonna need your help. He's stuck in La La Land again. Oh, yep, looks like Mr. Sleepyhead's nodded off. All right, you know the drill, cover your ears. Mr. Sleepyhead, time to wake up, we're here! Ah, you spooky monsters, you stay away from Jimmy Jr. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Sleepyhead was in the middle of a dream. Sorry to interrupt all the fun, but we're here. Time to get off the bus. So, exactly who is this Jimmy Jr. you're dreaming about? <laughs> LOL, Casey, very funny, but I don't have time for this. I have big after-school plans. I'm gonna hit the basketball court, do some spinneroonies. You two are welcome to join. Not before we finish our science project, Jimmy. Oh no, not the science project. <laughs> okay, Sparkle Squad, if you wanna see us make this slime cake glitter volcano, give me a big thumbs up. Oh, and by the way, Casey, Jimmy Jr. is his basketball. Oh. 
<laughs> Welcome to Casa Ellie. Oh my goodness, Ellie, your room is perfect for indoor soccer. Yeah, soccer. Sounds good. Anything but science. Oh, it's not going to be that bad. This project is going to be over in a breeze. Let me just check out this checklist. So, have we got pens and paper? Uh, check. Perfect. Have we got a calculator? Check. Project members? Check, check. Uh, kinda. Jimmy, wake up! And experiment supplies. Slime, paint, and glitter. <laughs> Jimmy, hey, supplies! That's you! Uh, you leave Jimmy Jr. alone, you monsters! He's just a baby! So, Jimmy, have you got the experiment supplies that you said you were gonna get? Oh, yeah, yeah, those. Not to worry, I got them right here in my book bag. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, one small hiccup. I think I left my book bag on the old bus -a rooney Jimmy, you had one job! It's okay. I'm gonna go on the bus and get the book bag. You two can stay here and keep arguing. I'm gonna go on my own little adventure. Ha <laughs> ha! Score! Oh, all right. School bus is still here. Check one complete. Oh, sweet! A soccer ball! Oh, man. Ellie and Jimmy are gonna be so happy to have a friend like me. They're gonna be like, oh, Casey, you're so smart and awesome and good at getting backpacks off of buses and solving problems. Casey, Casey, Come on. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Coach Rocco. Coach Rocco, can you let me in? I gotta get something. <sighs> Thanks, Coach. I... Wait, Coach? Coach Rocco! Oh, well, I don't see him anywhere. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to look by myself. Nothing to worry about. I've got my trusty soccer ball here. I'm gonna be just fine. <clears throat> what was that? Oh, you know what? It was the wind. Or the birds. Oh! Or the bus engine, duh. Oh wait, the bus isn't even running. <gasps> oh no, it's a monster! Ellie, help! Ah, monster! I'm just saying, Super Spinneroonies is the perfect science experiment. Yeah, but we did that last year, remember? Oh well, yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It was broke, we got an F. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, monster! Bus! Big! Wow! Okay, Casey, slow down, slow down. Take a deep breath. What happened? Okay, I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure, that there is a big monster on that bus right now. Monster on the bus? What did it look like? Was it green? I don't really know, but it just made this big, loud sound that could have only been a monster. It kind of went like this. So I can't even do it without getting scared! Ah, uh, okay. So what you're dealing with is your classic bus monster Rooney. They're commonly sighted around these parts, but they're really nothing to worry about as long as you take the proper precautions. Okay, don't listen to him, all right? It's just probably something else entirely. I don't think it's a monster at all. I know for a fact it's a monster, and I can prove it. I'll go out there right now and get our bag back. No, 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 Jimmy, don't do it! Ah, don't worry, Casey. Believe me, I've been around the block a few times. I know how to handle these monsters. And I'm off to save the day. Oh, well, this will be very interesting. You want to go get a pair of binoculars? Sure. Mm -hmm. Monster schmonster, I just thought of an amazing plan. All I have to do is pretend that there's an actual monster on the bus. That way, I can tell Ellie and Casey that the monster ate my backpack. And voila, no more science project for Jim Rooney. Ha <laughs> ha. Jimmy, sometimes I forget what a genius you are. All right, time to act scared. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so scared. Oh, Ellie, Casey, wish me luck on my dangerous journey. I hope I make it back alive. <laughs> what was that? You know, for a fake monster, that sure sounded an awful lot like a real monster. 
definitely a real monster. I'm out of here. Monster. Bus. It's real. Scary. Jimmy, did you really see a monster on the bus? Yeah, I saw a monster on the bus, and it was huge. Definitely big enough to eat both me and Jimmy Jr. Oh, I never have doubted you two. Oh, we're done for. See, I told you there was a monster out there. But guys, we really need the science project materials. Are you nuts? Unless your project is who can get eaten the fastest, then we are done with projects today. I guess I'm just gonna have to go see this for myself. Wait, what? Yep. And if there is a monster, I'm sure it'll be nice enough to let us take what we need and leave in peace. But there's no such thing as monsters anyway, you guys. I'll prove it to you. Oh, Ellie. Oh. <laughs> Ellie, no. Don't do it. All right, Sparkles, you got this. Just put on your bright and sparkly Sparkles charm. Put on a cheery smile. And say... Hello, Mr. Monster, or Miss Monster. How do you do today? Oh, I love what you're wearing. It's so cute. Oh, and your monster teeth are so shiny. What toothpaste do you use? Oh, by the way, my friend Jimmy <laughs> might have left an eensy teensy little backpack in the back of the school bus, and we were hoping that we could get it back. So if you could please give it to us, and we would thank you so very much Oh, you guys, what are you doing here? We came to give you oh, our support. What? I thought we were telling her to stop. Jimmy! Oh, uh, all right, well, obviously you can't go on the bus alone, so we figured that maybe you'd need some of that uh, Jimmy and Casey magic, and that together we could get that backpack back, pack, back, pack, back, get the stuff back. Guys, that is so sweet and super surprising of you. <laughs> Awesome, with the three of us, the monster can't possibly resist our charms. Let's go in together. what to do about this. Wake up, sleepyhead! I'm awake, I'm awake, I'll drive you to school. <laughs> Coach Rocco, you were asleep. Oh, well, after substituting math and driving the bus and teaching gym and lunch, Coach Rocco gets a little uh, tired, so I needed my nappy time. We should have known. There's no monster in the world that could make a sound as big and loud as Coach Rocco's snoring. You know, I'm gonna start calling you Coach Sleepyhead from now on, if that's all right with you. Coach Sleepyhead? No way. If I was to change my name, I would change my name to Bartholomew Wiggins. Now that's a respectable name. And here we go. Two treats for Dr. Ellie and two treats for Officer Casey. <laughs> Great costumes, you two. I know you're going to get lots of candy today. Thanks, Coach Rocco. Happy Halloween. Our costumes are so cool, Casey. We're gonna get so much candy. Maybe enough to last us till next Halloween. Oh, Jimmy's gonna be so jealous. <laughs> Quick, let's go to the next house before he catches up to us. Wait a second. Why is the school bus still here in the driveway? Yeah, and why are the decorations all over it? <gasps> Do you think that somebody's throwing a Halloween party inside the bus? <gasps> you know what that means? Halloween candy! Woohoo! Let's go! Trick or treat, anyone in there? Wow, whoever decorated this bus must be so cool. Did somebody say super cool? Jimmy? Jimmy? Yep, that's right, it's Count Jimmy, the winner of the scariest costume award. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, Jimmy, why are you in the school bus? Don't you know it's Halloween? <laughs> Do I know it's Halloween, she says. Of course I know it's Halloween. I've already been trick-or-treating to every house on this block. And now that I have a massive stash of candy, I decided to throw a little Halloween party just for myself. Oh, wow, so you really are throwing a party on the bus? Awesome! Can we come see? Oh, 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 oh
you know the rules to get invited to a Halloween party, especially a super cool one that's, you know, on the bus. You gotta scare the host. So let's see what you got. Can you scare me? Go on, Ellie. Go on, Casey. Scare me. We can't wait. Uh, boo! Yeah, you know, that's actually not really very scary. Oh, come on, Jimmy. You know that's not how trick-or-treating works. Sorry, Doc, but rules are rules. You gotta scare me to get on the bus. And it looks like you two have failed, which is really a shame because you're gonna miss the spooky dance contest. I hear I'm gonna win this year. See you next Halloween. Uh, wait, 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 Jimmy, no. Um, we can dance, Scary. Look, check this out. <laughs> Quick, Ellie, join in. Come on. <laughs> Don't worry, Casey. If Jimmy says that we can only get in by scaring him, then that's just what we'll have to do. Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to scare Jimmy on the bus, hit that thumbs up button. Let's do this. All right. Boom! Welcome to Count Jimmy's big Halloween bash on the bus. It's the greatest party ever because just look at the guest list. It's just me. Wow, this is officially my greatest idea ever. I got my vampire costume, I got all the candy I could possibly eat, and I got a whole bus all to myself. Oh, it's beautiful. You know what? I think this calls for my most ambitious Halloween project yet. The Jimmy spin rooney with can rooney on the bus -a rooney Let's see if I can catch them in my mouth. Ah! Ugh, close, let's try it again. I'm getting there. All the trick-or-treaters are gone. That means it's leftover candy time. Hey, why is this door locked? And who decorated the bus like this? Hello? Is somebody in there? Hey, Coach Rocco. Happy Halloween. Jimmy, what are you doing in there? This year, I decided to convert the school bus into a party bus. That way I can have the whole place to myself and eat all my Halloween candy in peace. Best Halloween ever. Uh, but I was supposed to enjoy my candy in there. I take all the unwanted candy and enjoy it in peace on the bus. Oh, well, great minds think alike, I guess. I see you also decided to dress as a vampire, just like me. That's a pretty good costume. Not quite as good as mine, but what is? Jimmy, let me on this bus. I want to enjoy this candy. Sorry, Coach Rocco, but you know the rules. To get invited to a Halloween bus party, you have to scare the host of the party. So go on, Coach Rocco. Give it a try. Scare me. Oh, scare ya, you say? <laughs> that should be easy. Let me get into my vampire mode. Ooh, I'm a vampire, and I lurk in the shadows. <laughs> Coach Rocco, that has to be one of the worst vampires I've ever seen in my life. It's laughable. I'm afraid I just can't let you on this bus. Jimmy, let me onto this bus. <sighs> ah, vampire! Look at him go. That's why Jimmy has been the scariest costume winner in school five years in a row. Best Halloween ever. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I cannot believe we can't find a costume spooky enough to scare Jimmy. I totally thought the pirates were gonna get him. Yeah, me too. Usually Jimmy's super scared all the time. Like all you have to do is go boo and he hides under his desk. I mean, come on, we gotta think of something. Hey, there you are. Scale of one to 10, how spooky is my costume? <laughs> let me guess, Jimmy didn't let you on the Halloween bus either. No, I just wanted to enjoy my candy, but I tell you, next Halloween, Jimmy's not going near that bus. <laughs> hey, Coach, 
Do you by any chance know when the last time Jimmy got scared was? Oh, well, now that I think about it, about a week ago, Jimmy was outside playing basketball. He's about to do a spin a rooney when suddenly he screams out and runs inside so fast it was like a blur. He thought he saw a bee. So Jimmy's scared of bees? Interesting. Ugh. Honestly, so am I kind of. You know how they make that sound of zzzz? Well, I have a great idea. Casey, come with me. Thanks, coach. This is a big help. <laughs> Ah, Halloween's almost over and nobody's been able to scare me. Guess it's safe to say that Count Jimmy really is the king of Halloween. What's that? More knocking? Ugh, trick-or-treaters at this hour? It never ends. Um, hello? <clears throat> Hi, sir. Do you happen to be the owner of this here school bus? Well, for tonight, yes. Yes, I am the owner of this bus. And who might you two be? Oh, a couple of astronauts, I'm guessing, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I got news for you. Astronauts are not scary. You're not getting in. Um, we're not astronauts. In fact, we are beekeepers, and we just got a call to inspect the school bus. Inspect it for bees. You wouldn't happen to have any bees on board, would you? Wait a second. You're saying that there might be bees inside the bus? Oh, I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. As long as you don't have anything that might attract bees. Now let's see here. They love sweet stuff, like honey or soda or their all-time favorite, candy. You wouldn't happen to have any candy inside, would you? Candy? B -b 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 bees like c -c 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 candy? And I just happen to have the biggest candy stash in the whole school. Oh no! Ah! Bees! I'm out of here! <laughs> What happened to Jimmy? Are you ready to play the Halloween Spin the Wheel Challenge? We're going to spin the wheel to see which costumes we're going to wear this year. Casey's going first. Let's do this. Three, two, one, spin! It landed on ghosts! Yes! Super easy to make and extra spooky. <laughs> I totally got shot at winning that costume contest this year. Um, excuse me, did you just say costume contest? Because you must know that Jimmy has won the scariest costume contest four years in a row. And this year, I'm going for number five. <laughs> okay, we'll see about that. Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to see us make Casey's ghost costume, hit that thumbs up button. <gasps> Let's do this, Casey. All right, see you, Jimmy. Ghost schmost, I got this costume contest down. Easy peasy. Hey, Coach, have you got any good ideas on what we could use for Casey's ghost costume? Oh, a ghost. Uh, well, you could use a tablecloth or you could use uh, toilet paper. But I have to warn you, we're a little bit low on TP. We can fix that. <laughs> Look, we found all the toilet paper, and we didn't really have to look that hard. Where did you find all of that? I hope it's not the last. Oh, I think it's time to put on Casey's ghost costume, right, Casey? Yeah. You can just stand over there and put your arms <clears throat> straight out. <laughs> Coach, here's a couple of toilet paper rolls, and <laughs> we'll just get started on wrapping. Three, two, one, wrap, wrap, wrap. <laughs> You're gonna be the coolest looking ghost. I'm so excited, Jimmy's gonna be so scared. <laughs> now I hope this wasn't the last of the toilet paper, Ellie. <laughs> Let's just keep wrapping, shall we? <clears throat> now to put on the finishing touches. All right, that's it. Casey the Ghastly Ghost, how are you feeling? <laughs> I feel like I got the scariest costume award on lock. <laughs> now I'm gonna go find Jimmy and spook him. Jimmy, must find Jimmy. We're back at the wheel and this time it's Jimmy's turn. Scariest costume award, here I come. Ready, three, two, one, spin. Cool, it landed on a butterfly. 
butterfly. Just look at it, how cute. A colorful fluttering butterfly. Oh no, not a butterfly. I can't be a butterfly. Casey will definitely win the costume contest. Oh, I gotta think of something quick. Oh, uh, hey Ellie, look over there. Huh? Respin. Hey, no respin. And it landed on a superhero. I'm a superhero. I mean, I guess technically it isn't the scariest costume, but nah, I can make it work. This costume award is as good as mine. Thanks, Ellie. Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, have you seen any toilet paper around? I can't find a single roll. Not now, Coach Rocco. We have bigger fish to fry. I need a hero costume. A hero that also happens to be scary. What do you got? Uh, well, I have your Super Jimmy costume right where you left it. Now you need to put things away after you're done and you'll be able to find them. Awesome! Super Jimmy saves the day again. <laughs> But wait a second, where's my mask? Oh no, my costume isn't complete without my mask. Oh, well, Casey's using your mask now. But look, we have a ton of Halloween masks left over here. I'm sure one of them will work. Come on, let's have a look. Oh, Casey. All right, but one of those masks better be scary. Remember, I need to win the scariest costume award. Huh, well. The problem is, Coach, that this contest is about the scariest costume, not the furriest. Come on, Jimmy, that mask is perfect. Now give me your best spooky Super Jimmy roar. <sighs> I'm Super Jimmy, the scary hero. Ooh, I'm scared already. Now say it again like you mean it. <sighs> really? Okay, I'm Super Jimmy, the scary spooky hero. Ah, ah, ah. And I'm here to save and scare the day. You know what, Coach? I think you might be right. I can make this work. Let's go scare somebody. I really need a hobby. Last but definitely not least, it's my turn to pick out a costume. I'm so ready for this. Three, two, one, spin! Ooh, it landed on a witch! Awesome! That costume is super spooky. In fact, I think I already have some costume pieces in my bedroom. Let's go. All right, Sparkle Squad, the three main ingredients to a excellent witch's costume is the cape, the broom, and of course, the witch's hat. And luckily, I have a cape right over here. I was saving it just for this occasion. Look at how cool that looks, super spooky. And I think that Coach Rocco left a broom here last time he was tidying. Yep, just as I expected. <laughs> Not quite as witchy as I want it, but this'll definitely do. And finally, the witch's hat. Now I'm thinking that I'm gonna make it this time around with my art supplies. <sighs> You'll need some paper. It can be any color, but I chose black. Something sticky like tape or glue and something to cut with. Be careful. <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to make something that looks like a triangle or a comb. Now usually I pick a comb because it's super easy to roll up. You make one end small and the other end super wide, just like this. Perfect cone, and then cut along the bottom to make it straight. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna cut out a circle, a really big circle, to be the brim of the hat. Hmm, I think I'm gonna cut it out of this. Ta-da, look at me, I'm all done. My witch's costume <laughs> is complete. Coach Rocco, come over, take a look. Whoa, Ellie the Wicked Witch of Sparkleville. And I like this broom, nice touch. Are you ready to judge some costumes? Yep, send them in. All right, send in the first costume. It's Jimmy the Spooky Superhero. <gasps> it's me, Super Spooky Jimmy, and I'm here to save and scare the day. I bet you must be really scared now. Oh, Jimmy, you're the cutest superhero I've ever seen. Look at that cute little puppy mask. <laughs> oh no, she thinks I'm cute. Oh, I told you that this was too cute to work. Well, she thinks you're cute in a very nervous way. She's too scared to tell you the truth. <laughs> All right, you ready to judge the second costume? Uh-huh. I introduce Casey the Ghastly Ghost. <laughs> Ooh, I 
away my ghost. Okay, <laughs> seriously, you can get it floating around like a ghost. Spooky <laughs> and silly. I like it. Oh, thanks. Hey, that means I'm way scarier than Jimmy's costume. Oh, but I'm just not as cute. So cute. Hey, huh? wait a second. Is that my mask? How did you get that? Uh, I borrowed it. Oh, I should have gotten the frog mask instead. <laughs> oh, uh, Coach Rocco, don't worry. Once we're done, I'm going to roll all the toilet paper back up. <laughs> oh, thanks a bunch, because I looked everywhere. We're completely out. Oh, no. <laughs> OK, Sparkle Squad, now it's your turn. Who do you think won this competition? Huh? Is it me, Ellie Sparkles the Witch? <laughs> or is it Casey the Spooky Ghost? Ooh. Or is it Jimmy the Furry Superhero? Oh, me, 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 pick me. Oh, my costume was supposed to be way scarier, but Casey took my mask and, oh, I'm oh, going for five years in a row. Oh, there's always something, Jimmy. He's always got some little I'm too little, but still, I'm on like me. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna win, Jimmy! No way, I told you not this one. Yeah, right! <laughs> Eat my dust, Jimmy! Ellie wins by a nose! Good race, Jimmy! Yeah, good race. What do you say we do a rematch? Starting now! Hey, that's not fair! Hold on a second. What was that noise? Well, I sure hope that was your stomach rumbling. <laughs> no, definitely not my stomach. I think it came from the barn. Let's check it out. Oh. Hello? Hello? Is anyone in there? It's just me and Jimmy. Can we come in? Oh, see, just like I told you, it's probably nothing. If anything, it's just a... Uh, uh, go! Stop! <laughs> Jimmy, wait! Your spooky time. We have to hide. My trusty blankie will protect us. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Are we sure that there's a ghost out there? It could have been anything. What if it was an animal inside the barn? <sighs> Are your ears working? That was definitely a ghost. I can still hear the sound it made. Ooh, ooh, yikes. Fine, if it was a ghost, we can't hide under the trusty blankie forever. Plus, we left our scooters by the barn. We're gonna have to go out there eventually and get them. We're gonna have to go? As in Ellie and Jimmy? No, thank you. I am quite content where I am. Thank you very much. The ghost can have my scooter. You hear that, Mr. Ghost? The scooter's all yours. All right, it looks like I'm gonna have to go get both of the scooters by myself. Hmm. Yeah, sounds good to me. In fact, I think that might actually be your best plan ever. I'll be on lookout here while you go get the scooters. Oh, wonderful. You stay right here while I go outside with the ghost. Whatever happened to I'm Jimmy, the bravest boy in school. Well, hey, I'm still the bravest boy in school. I'll just have to show you next time, that's all. Fine, next time. I'll be on the lookout. Oh, man, please work. <laughs> This will be no problem, boys and girls. All we have to do is pick up the scooters and then leave. Okay. Almost there. I don't know why Jimmy was so scared to do this. <laughs> Got them, yes. Maybe I should check on the barn again. I'm sure it's nothing. Maybe it's just butters. Oh, or Jimmy's pet skunk stinky. Wait, why are you turning around? Hello? Is anyone in there? Butters! What happened? What happened? Okay, Jimmy, so you may have been right about the ghost. I think I just heard the spooky sound again. The spooky sound? Oh no! The woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-wo
Well, this is that next time. Why don't you go out there and save our scooters? Give it a shot. You want me to go out there all by myself and face the ghost? <laughs> all right, fine. But just so you know, I was gonna ask Santa for extra fast scooters this year, so you can just forget about that. All right, good luck, Jimmy. And I'm gonna be right here holding down the fort. Okay. Hey, Jimmy, what happened to the bravest boy in school? I'll tell you what happened to the bravest boy in school. He's right here, and he's gonna save the day and save the scooters with his patented ghost catcher Rooney. Now, it may look like a pool skimmer, but that's by design. Don't want the ghost catching on. Almost there. Hello, Mr. Ghost? It's just me, your old pal Jimmy, friend to all ghosts and ghostly spirits. I'd just sure like to get my scooter, if that's okay with you. Say nothing if it's okay. You got this, Jimmy. <laughs> what was I worried about? Ellie probably just heard the wind or something. Or, <laughs> or, or a big spooky ghost. Ah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, Jimmy, slow down. Tell me what happened. Well, there's a big green scary ghost in the barn. It's gonna get us, so just like you said. Blinky. Oh no, not the Blinky again. All right, it looks like we're gonna have to defeat this ghost once and for all together. Come on, Jimmy, let's go. Ooh. <laughs> ready as I'll ever be. Can you tell me the plan one more time? Okay, so we're gonna take this bologna sandwich, put it in front of the barn to lure the ghost out, and when it comes out, we're gonna spray it with our anti-ghost spray. <sighs> All right, I sure hope this works. Oh, don't worry, it will. Okay. Quick, hide! Oh, I think I hear the ghost coming now. Okay, I'm gonna jump out on the count of three. Three, two, one. I'm out of here. Oh! Oh! Ellie! You got silly string all over my bologna sandwich. I'm sorry, Coach. Wait, were you the ghost the entire time? Ghost? Where? Well, we heard this really, really weird noise, Jimmy and I. Like, woo! Oh, well, that wasn't a ghost. That was me practicing my yodeling. You see, the annual yodeling contest is in a week, and I want to make sure my yodels are in check. Whew, that's a relief. Me and Jimmy thought it was a real ghost. Well, he'll be glad to hear it's not. Yeah, I didn't want to disturb you, so I came to the barn, but looks like I ended up scaring you. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Coach. Looks like ghosts aren't real after all. Yep, but since I have you here, maybe you could tell me how my yodels sound, all right? Ready? Oh no, the ghost! I'll save you, Ellie! Coach Rocco! And here we go, two treats for Dr. Ellie and two treats for Officer Casey. <laughs> Great costumes, you two. I know you're gonna get lots of candy today. Thanks, Coach Rocco. Happy Halloween. Our costumes are so cool, Casey. We're gonna get so much candy, maybe enough to last us till next Halloween. Oh, Jimmy's gonna be so jealous. <laughs> Quick, let's go to the next house before he catches up sure. to us. Wait a second. Why is the school bus still here in the driveway? And why are there decorations all over it? <gasps> Do you think that somebody's throwing a Halloween party inside the bus? <gasps> you know what that means? Halloween candy! Woohoo! Let's go! Trick or treat! Anyone in there? Wow, whoever decorated this bus must be so cool. Did somebody say super cool? Jimmy? Yep, that's right. It's Count Jimmy, the winner of the scariest costume award. Uh, uh, uh. 
Wait, Jimmy, why are you in the school bus? Don't you know it's Halloween? <laughs> Do I know it's Halloween, she says. Of course I know it's Halloween. I've already been trick-or-treating to every house on this block. And now that I have a massive stash of candy, I decided to throw a little Halloween party just for myself. Oh, wow, so you really are throwing a party on the bus? Awesome! Can we come see? Oh, 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 oh. You know the rules to get invited to a Halloween party, especially a super cool one that's, you know, on the bus. You gotta scare the host. So let's see what you got. Can you scare me? Go on, Ellie. Go on, Casey. Scare me. We can't wait. Uh, boo! Yeah, you know, that's actually not really very scary. Oh, come on, Jimmy. You know that's not how trick-or-treating works. Sorry, Doc, but rules are rules. You gotta scare me to get on the bus. And it looks like you two have failed, which is really a shame because you're gonna miss the spooky dance contest. I hear I'm gonna win this year. See you next Halloween. Uh, wait, 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 Jimmy, no. Um, we can dance, Scary. Look, check this out. <laughs> Quick, Ellie, join in. Come on. Don't worry, Casey. If Jimmy says that we can only get in by scaring him, then that's just what we'll have to do. Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to scare Jimmy on the bus, hit that thumbs up button. Let's do this. All right. Ooh, welcome to Count Jimmy's big Halloween bash on the bus. It's the greatest party ever because just look at the guest list. It's just me. Wow, this is officially my greatest idea ever. I got my vampire costume, I got all the candy I could possibly eat, and I got a whole bus all to myself. Oh, it's beautiful. You know what? I think this calls for my most ambitious Halloween project yet. The Jimmy spin rooney with Kandaroony on the bus -a rooney Let's see if I can catch them in my mouth. Ah! Ugh, close, let's try it again. I'm getting there. All the trick-or-treaters are gone. That means it's leftover candy time. Hey, why is this door locked? And who decorated the bus like this? Hello? Is somebody in there? Hey, Coach Rocco. Happy Halloween. Jimmy, what are you doing in there? This year, I decided to convert the school bus into a party bus. That way I can have the whole place to myself and eat all my Halloween candy in peace. Best Halloween ever. Uh, but I was supposed to enjoy my candy in there. I take all the unwanted candy and enjoy it in peace on the bus. Oh, well, great minds think alike, I guess. I see you also decided to dress as a vampire, just like me. That's a pretty good costume. Not quite as good as mine, but what is? Jimmy, let me on this bus. I want to enjoy this candy. Sorry, Coach Rocco, but you know the rules. To get invited to a Halloween bus party, you have to scare the host of the party. So go on, Coach Rocco. Give it a try. Scare me. Oh, scare ya, you say? <laughs> that should be easy. Let me get into my vampire mode. Ooh, I'm a vampire, and I lurk in the shadows. <laughs> Coach Rocco, that has to be one of the worst vampires I've ever seen in my life. It's laughable. I'm afraid I just can't let you on this bus. Jimmy, let me onto this bus. Ah, vampire! Look at him go. That's why Jimmy has been the scariest costume winner in school five years in a row. Best Halloween ever. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I cannot believe we can't find a costume spooky enough to scare Jimmy. I totally thought the pirates were gonna get him. Yeah, me too. 
Usually, Jimmy's super scared all the time. Like, all he had to do is go boo, and he hides under his desk. I mean, come on, we gotta think of something. Hey, there you are. Scale of one to ten, how spooky is my costume? <laughs> let me guess, Jimmy didn't let you on the Halloween bus either. No, I just wanted to enjoy my candy, but I tell you, next Halloween, Jimmy's not going near that bus. <laughs> hey, Coach, do you by any chance know when the last time Jimmy got scared was? Oh, well, now that I think about it, about a week ago, Jimmy was outside playing basketball. He's about to do a spin a rooney when suddenly he screams out and runs inside so fast it was like a blur. He thought he saw a bee. So Jimmy's scared of bees? Interesting. Ugh. Honestly, so am I kind of. You know how they make that sound of bees? You know, I have a great idea. Casey, come with me. Thanks, Coach. This is a big help. <laughs> Ah, Halloween's almost over and nobody's been able to scare me. Guess it's safe to say that Count Jimmy really is the king of Halloween. What's that? More knocking? Ugh, trick-or-treaters at this hour? It never ends. Um, hello? <clears throat> Hi, sir. Do you happen to be the owner of this here school bus? Well, for tonight, yes. Yes, I am the owner of this bus. And who might you two be? Oh, a couple of astronauts, I'm guessing, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I got news for you. Astronauts are not scary. You're not getting in. Um, we're not astronauts. In fact, we are beekeepers, and we just got a call to inspect the school bus. Inspect it for bees. You wouldn't happen to have any bees on board, would you? Wait a second. You're saying that there might be bees inside the bus? Oh, I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. As long as you don't have anything that might attract bees. Now let's see here. They love sweet stuff, like honey or soda or their all-time favorite, candy. You wouldn't happen to have any candy inside, would you? Candy? B -b 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 bees like c -c 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 candy? And I just happen to have the biggest candy stash in the whole school. Oh no! Ah! Bees! I'm out of here! <laughs> What happened to Jimmy? I've never seen him run so fast. He almost knocked me over. I know. I used to think I was the fastest runner in school, but Jimmy's got me beat. <laughs> Look, Coach Rocco, are you ready for trick-or-treat candy now? Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I hope there's some candy corn in here. Hey, Ellie, let's finally go check out the inside of the party bus. Oh, good idea. After you. <laughs> Whoa! 